Miranda with Recipe.com and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite desserts, cheesecake. This creamy, delicious dessert is certainly a favorite of everyone and there are so many things that you can do with it. Either serve it plain, top it with fruit, nuts or chocolate, the options go on and on and on. But here's a really great, easy, basic recipe. I have our ingredients all laid out here. We're going to start with three eggs, lightly beaten three eight ounce packages of cream cheese softened, a third of a cup of sugar, an additional one cup of sugar, one and a half cups of graham crackers crushed, two tablespoons of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter of a cup of milk, and a third of a cup of melted butter. So we're gonna start by making our crust. So I have a medium and a large mixing bowl here. We're gonna start with the medium. And we are going to add the yummy graham cracker in here with the third of a cup of sugar. And I'm just gonna give that a nice little stir because what is cheesecake without that delicious graham cracker crust? And while you could certainly buy it, um, if you needed to save a little extra time and just pour the filling in, this extra step is well, well worth it. So that's all combined. Let's add in a melted butter now. Delicious. I'm just going to mix this together to keep on going until everything's incorporated. Okay, so we are going to make our graham cracker crust by popping this in here. And we're just going to press it down. And I'm just going to use my fingers. And you're going to press it down and make sure it's evenly distributed along the bottom of the pan and then also um, about two inches up the sides of the pan. because so we wanna give a nice base for the filling. So just play with this. Okay, so this is what your graham cracker crust is going to look like. Really beautiful, it's gonna smell delicious. Um, the next step is to get either two pieces of 12 by 18 inch um, heavy duty aluminum foil or if you don't have aluminum foil that is that wide, you're going to do um, what I did. Or if you have um, a springform pan that's like a little bit bigger, you are going to have four pieces. What we're doing is creating a watertight seal here because we're actually going to be submerging this in a roasting pan with hot water and then baking it that way. So I don't want to cover the top. I'm just creating this, this airtight seal for the sides. So let's get this up. Okay. And then we can just kind of like fold it down. You might want to just fold it over the sides just to be safe. You want this to be totally waterproof. Okay. So keep going until you're completely sealed in. So we're all set with this. Let's put this to the side because now we're going to do the super yummy part, which is the filling. So I have an electric hand mixer here. This is going to save your arm. Um, and we are going to start by putting in the cream cheese, the sugar, yum, 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 flour and vanilla, all in this large mixing bowl. And I'm going to mix it together until combined on like medium speed here. Now we are going to mix in the milk, but first let's just give it a little toss here on the sides. Now let's add in our milk. Put this guy back out. And then in go our eggs. This looks pretty good. Okay, beautiful. Now we are just going to pour the mixture into our little yummy crust here. So just pour this on in. Now my oven is preheated at 375 degrees. This is what this is going to bake at. Okay, beautiful. All right. Smooth that out. If you made a mess like me, that's okay. Okay. Just wipe off the edges. All right. So 
smooth it out. Look how pretty this looks. Indulgence, okay. I'm just gonna do a little quick cleanup here and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is to give our cheesecake a little water bath. It's going to cook in this little water bath. Um, we are going to achieve that by using a large roasting pan, um, so large enough that your spring form pan can sit inside of it, and then tall enough so that you can pour hot water in and it will reach about halfway up the sides of your spring form pan. Um, now, cooking this in a water bath does two things. One, the extra moisture is going to help prevent cracking, which happens um, a lot with cheesecake. It's also going to conduct the water so it like, cooks more evenly and more gently. I'm going to pour my water in first, my hot water, um, because I don't want to take the risk of you know, spilling any water into my cheesecake. So I've already pre-measured this. I know that it will reach about halfway up. And just be gentle so you don't burn yourself. Okay, beautiful, it's bath time. Not for you, for the cheesecake. Okay, now let's set this in gently now. Look how perfect that is. It's like a little tiny cheesecake boat. How fun is this? I feel like it's like bath time when we're kids and like, this is better than any bath toy I've ever had. I don't know about you. Okay, so now we're gonna pop it in the oven, which again, preheated at 375 degrees. If you have an eight inch spring form pan, you're going to cook it for 40 to 45 minutes. If you have a nine inch, it's going to cook for 35 to 40. Essentially, we want the edges to be firm, um, but if you jiggled it, the middle might kind of like jiggle a little bit. We want it to jiggle it just a little bit. And then, once that happens, we're going to turn off the oven, and you are not going to remove the cheesecake, you are going to leave the cheesecake in the oven, turn the heat off for one hour. And then we'll see you back at that point. Okay, so we are back with our delicious baked cheesecake. So it baked in the oven, I turned off the heat, let it hang out there for an hour with the heat off, took it out, let it cool um, for about 10 minutes. Then the next step was just to take this little knife and kind of loosen the edges, like so. Let it cool for another 30 minutes, and now I'm ready to remove the spring form pan. It's very exciting, so drum roll please. We are going to unsnap this and just lift. Look how beautiful. So we're all done with that part. We're still gonna let this cool completely. So on this wire rack, let it cool completely. Then we're gonna cover it and chill for at least four hours before serving. So let's come back when it's nice and chilly in four hours and we're ready to eat. Okay, so my cheesecake has chilled for four hours. I am dying to eat it. This is going to be so delicious. I wish you could just even smell it. Like, just this whole process of making it has just been driving me crazy wanting to eat it. But I've waited so that I can show you what it looks like when it's all nice and chilled and ready to serve. This is gonna be so, so tasty because after all, nothing beats homemade, especially homemade cheesecake. And there you have it. Now you know how to make cheesecake. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at request at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.